how much do real estate agents pay for leads if you are about to be a real estate agent you might a real estate agent you might wonder how much do real estate agents pay for leads and unfortunately there is no general answer to that question so but well it <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if you could just if i could just tell you my dear real estate agent you will always pay exactly $30 per lead and will always convert 10% into a sale of a nice $600,000 property, no matter what. This would be really nice, but well, the real reality is a bit different. Maybe the real estate market in Narnia has all those constant conversion rates, but uh, well, this reality is not that way. and. Um, and it is not that nice in this regard. So having such steady numbers uh, would also mean, mean that you would deal with some predictable robots or the Borg from Star Trek as market participants. So, well, I will try my best here to give you some structured information about how much real estate agents pay for leads, for real estate leads. So first of all, it depends all on the target group you want to market to. Uh, are these buyers or sellers? Then also the marketing channels you need to use to reach them. Then also your copywriting quality and your offer. Uh, of course, also your copywriting skills. And this all leads to a certain conversion rate. And the next one are the marketing channels. So the marketing channels can be roughly divided into online marketing and offline marketing. I will give you a rough overview of the channels available. Let's start with, with offline marketing channels. There are magazines, press releases, newspapers, television, radio, flyers, direct mailing and telemarketing. And in terms of online marketing channels, this is mostly paid advertising. Uh, you have, well, your own web presence with content marketing slash uh, search engine optimization. This can be a hybrid consisting of your own time investment and or outsourced work such as co content mills. Um, this can be done by blogs, podcasts, um, video, uh, vlogs, etc. Then you have email marketing, social media marketing, such as Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Pinterest ads, Twitter ads, etc. And then you have search engine marketing, short, uh, shortly SEM, such as Google ads, Bing ads, Yahoo ads, and so on. And then you have real estate listing sites. And from all those online channels, I will pick five channels where enough data about costs per lead is available already and where it is not, I will approach it with a short calculation based on logic. So before we get into the different channels, let's establish a basis to calculate the cost per lead so we can estimate so we can estimate it better for channels where secondary data isn't available during my uh, wasn't aware, uh, available during my research so let's check first the conversion statistics in the real estate industry and the conversion rate for real estate ranges from 3.4% on Google Ads 5.31% on Bing Ads to 10.68% on Facebook Ads but bear in mind that depending on the channel, the target audience is in a different product service awareness stage. If you have watched my video, my past video, I explained in my content marketing, a real estate content marketing video, all the different steps of um, product service awareness and the customer journey. So you might want to first watch uh, the past video to understand this better here so okay uh, the different product service awareness stages so you so you can't compare the numbers directly okay so according to insiderrealestate.com the average conversion rate is rather between 0.5 and 1 percent 
and how much do real estate agents pay on well-known listing platforms? Well, in my article, I did the whole calculation and you can read it there. It, it would be a little bit um, boring here on video. So um, just head over to hackingrealestatemarketing.com and um, there is the same article, how much do real estate agents pay for leads and there are all the calculations you want to know. So um, again, in, in this article, I did the whole calculation and you can read it uh, on my blog. And to be conservative in my estimations, I applied the average of all the mentioned of all the mentioned uh, conversion rates that I showed you already, um, which is roughly four percent. So on Silo Premier Agent, the average cost per lead ranges between twenty and sixty dollars. On Trulia, the cost per lead per property you list there would be is is twenty nine dollars, and on Realtor.com it's seventy. 2.11 per lead. And how much do real estate agents pay, pay for leads when doing direct mailing? The website palhux.com claims that according to the Direct Mail Association, the cost per lead of direct mailing is $51.40. So this would make it less expensive than Google AdWords and Realtor.com. The next one is how much do real estate agents pay for leads when using social media advertising and search engine marketing. This, is, this was a little bit easier to research and uh, Wordstream did, uh, the website Word, Wordstream did already a great job analyzing this data. And according to them on Google AdWords, you pay $77.28 and on Facebook ads, you pay $16.92 per lead. And again, if you want, if you are wondering where I get all those prices, all those dollars, I made a, a complete calculation on my website, hackingrealestatemarketing.com, where you can see how I came to this conclusion, to these numbers. But here I will give it just in a, a short, in a short way, in a short form, so uh, I don't bore you with the, the complicated calculations. Or well, they are not that complicated, but they can be boring. So. Um, <clears throat> Well, um, the next one is, is uh, think lead to closing ratio or cost per acquisition instead of cost per leads because the question of cost per leads is not the uh, cost per leads is not the best metric actually. Uh, so the, the cost per acquisition or the, the, the lead to closing ratio ratio are actually better metrics to qualify certain uh, marketing channels in terms of costs. <clears throat> So uh, maybe a better question here is to ask instead of cost per lead is the question about the cost per acquisition. And uh, cost per lead seems to be a good indicator at first glance because you might think, okay, I just take the lowest cost per lead, but how good are those leads? How, how is the quality of, this lead, of those leads? Take for example, the average cost per lead from Facebook ads, which is $16 Point nine two, and do leads from Facebook have the same quality as leads from, let's say, Google Ads uh, that cost you seven seventy seven point two eight dollars? Not necessarily, because uh, leads from Facebook you have to work more often through a funnel to convert further into customers that wants to do a showing than from a Google Ad. Um, if you targeted your audience with a buyer intent keyword such as for example houses for sale in New York. So coming back again to the customer journey and to the product service awareness stages. So when it comes to Google Ads the potential customer is closer to solution awareness than the Facebook audience being more often in the unawareness stage and interrupted by your campaign. So um, yeah and if you factor in the lead to closing ratio, the picture starts to paint differently. So the, the lead to closing ratio asks how many leads you need to close, you need to close the real estate deal. And the cost per acquisition asks the question, 
how much does it cost to close one real estate deal taking into consideration the lead to closing ratio. So ending this video, uh, it's not about the cost per lead actually, but the quality of the lead or even better the lead to closing ratio, which heavily depends on your sales skills in the end. And how does it help if you get a cost per lead down to let's say 10 cents, if you have a lead to closing ratio of 0.002%, you would basically have marketing costs of 10 cents divided by 0.002% which equals $20,000 to close one deal with this ratio or put in other words uh, a cost per acquisition CPA of 20,000. Well with a $600,000 property and uh, that gives you a full 5% commission this still means a profit uh, you would get a commission of 30,000 and have marketing costs of 20,000, which means you had a profit of 10,000. But once you get into average housing prices and might even have us to split a commission or two, things could get a bit more ugly. So in my humble opinion, the better question to ask would be, what's the cost per acquisition for real estate agents and not how much do real estate agents pay for leads? Well, that's it. I hope this video was helpful and inspiring to you. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified once I have a new video out. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.